Grandmaster SP Sethuraman is playing with the white pieces against GM Saptarshi Roy. Sethuraman has two extra pawns in this position. If you count the number of white pawns, they are six. Black has only four. However, if you notice, the knight is attacked and so is the pawn on c4. Setu saves the knight and Saptarshi Roy tries to focus. Now notice how Setu Raman is calmly thinking about his moves. Saptarshi now takes the pawn on c4 and Setu Raman saves his a3 pawn. So he has an outside passed pawn which he can create with a5 and b6. If you look at the times on the clock, Setu Raman has over an hour here. Saptarshi tries to bring in his king. He's just one pawn down, but positionally also he is in a big mess because Setu Raman has a knight that is blockading the passed pawn and knights are the best blockaders. <coughs> How should white continue in this position? Setu Raman goes rook e4 and attacks the pawn on d4. Now, in order to save this pawn, you have to go rook d7. What else? Setu leaves the board, making Saptarshi think about what should be his move. He goes rook to d7. Setu is one of India's top GMs. He is rated 2600 plus. Knight jumps to c5. There you can see some tactics are lurking in the air. Rook to d5, attacking the knight. And knight comes to e6 with a check. King f7. Setu Raman just thinking for his move. He can actually take rook takes d4. He can also play knight takes d4. Both moves are possible. He takes with the knight. Now he's two pawns up. Saptarshi Roy captures the pawn on h5, reducing the deficit to one pawn. And Setu Raman goes knight c6, attacking the knight on c4, also threatening rook e7 check. The a7 pawn is also hanging. All of a sudden, things have escalated. And Saptarshi Roy is in big, big trouble here. He resigns the game just he is one pawn down but his position is so bad because the rook is coming in and white will have two queenside passers. The players sign the score sheets, exchange them and that is victory for Setu Raman.